Hallelujah, glory to God. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You are welcome. If this is the first time you're seeing me, the first time you're coming across my videos, thank you so much for deciding to click on this video. I know that God let you here for a reason. And it's a privilege for me to be that voice that maybe confirms the voice of the Lord to you, the word of God to you, or that person that helps you in your spiritual journey. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now I received this, this, this prophetic word and I thought to stop and share that with somebody. Take it back. Take back your life. Take back your life from the enemy. You know, many of us, we have... We are so uh, mind conscious of what the devil is doing. We are so conscious of how the devil is afflicting us, how the devil wants to destroy us, how the devil has done this and the devil has done that. And we've forgotten about what God has done for us. That is what should be your focus. Your focus should be the finished works of Christ, what it did for you, what the cross did for you. Take your life from the hands of the devil and hand it over to God. Hand it over to God. Think about what the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross did for you. The Bible says now there is therefore no more condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk after the spirit and not after the flesh. The Bible says that now we are more than conquerors. Those are all things that Jesus did for us. We are far above principalities and powers. So why do you give principalities and powers a lot of power over your life? The Bible says we are far above principalities and powers. We are seated in heavenly places with Jesus Christ. The Bible says you are a God and you are a child of the Most High God. Those are the things you should focus your mind on. Ask yourself, what are the benefits of being a child? What are the benefits of being a God? And exercise that authority. And that is how the devil is going to flee. But when all the time you are conscious about what the devil is doing in your life, you are giving the devil so much authority that he does not even have. Change your focus. Stop looking at what the devil is doing or what the devil has done and start looking at what God has done for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.